Royalty. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, and my May Father God continues to bless you, cover you, and keep you safe. I hope y'all are having a beautiful, blessed day, and I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed week. Let's begin. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Okay, let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and, and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me. Guide me and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Cancer need to know? Please and thank you. Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? Ooh, Cancer. Okay, so sacrifices could be needed at this time. You guys could be letting things go, literally letting things go out of your life, surrendering to God's will, surrendering to God's order, surrendering to God's plan over your life and it calls for you to let go of things that do not align with you that do not serve you and your highest good it's time to let it go with sacrifices here okay this is also some type of sacrifices that may be needed at this time for you to get to the next level <laughs> and i see it because right behind that is the tower y'all gonna feel something look at the first and i <laughs> oh my goodness the awakened state. Mm. Something about somebody who didn't want you to feel this or you didn't want to feel this, but it's, it's happening. Okay? I'm seeing here there's going to be some type of unexpected change or there could be a tower. You guys could even be, okay. Wow. That was a very clear download. I'm talking to someone here. <clears throat> there are two different types of cancers that I'm speaking to at this time. There's one type of cancer that is literally they're sacrificing something and they're letting this tower fall okay you guys could be realizing that in regards to changes you know that there are going to be illusions that are going to come out secrets that are going to come out you guys are letting something go you guys are creating this tower by this sacrifice it's something about you guys letting something go and you guys are creating this shift and change in your life because you guys want better you want the truth you want clarity you want things to be revealed to you I'm also talking to another cancer that could be fearful of making this sacrifice. Okay, y'all may want change. Y'all could be fearful of it. And Father God is going to send in a tower that you cannot avoid. Something is going to take place in your life that's going to bring in a major change, a major shift, a major turn of events. It's going to be catastrophic. And it's going to it's meant to wake you up. It's meant to bring things into alignment. It's meant for you to, to see God's plan, God's order, what he's trying to do in your life. It's some type of sacrifice that's needed. It's something that you guys could have been refusing to let go or do or see the truth about. And God is going to make sure that you see the truth. So that this could be like, you guys could get over it. You guys can move away from it. Yeah, it's justice that's coming in. This is also Scorpio Libra energy. Okay, there's justice. This is good karma. The number 11 could be significant. Also the number 7. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and the number 3. The number 1 or the number 2. Okay, somebody could be born on the 11th, on the 7th, on the 3rd, on the 2nd, on the 1st, in January, February, March, in July, or in November. Okay, I'm also seeing here, this is also your energy, with the chariot, cancer energy. I got a little spooked, y'all, because it's like, me, um, I saw 11, 7, that's my birthday. That's also a very lucky number, so I'm talking to someone who's very, very, very lucky. Okay, you're very lucky, you're very blessed, you're very highly favored. And this is going to come about in regards to justice. This is also like um, retribution, good karma, things working out in your favor in regards to a court situation or a legal matter. Okay, with the justice card being here. This is also things going in your favor, things working out better than you thought it was going to. Okay, good karma, positive forward movement is getting ready to take place for you. Things are getting ready to shift. 
okay, with the chariot. Yeah, it's also something about you guys becoming single. You guys could be single at this time. Independent. Scorpio also got this. You guys may need to go check out the Scorpio reading. You guys have Scorpio in your birth chart. You could be connecting someone, okay, with, with single energy here. You guys could be vibing, loving your own energy, loving your home. Plans could be significant. This is also photos or portraits or canvases. You guys could, like, abstract things as well. You guys could also be, like, watching things that, you know, like taboo things and not in a bad way, but like learning about the world, learning about different cultures and different things keep that, that, you know, to make you more worldly, that the normal person may not, you know, necessarily be interested in, but someone with a higher level of learning and knowledge, especially with this justice card is going to want to, you know, understand, going to want to learn, going to want to study. Okay. Yeah. It's something about you guys beginning who you are beginning to realize who you are, beginning to realize the power that you carry, beginning to realize that God is real and God is working within your life. Yeah, we have the strength card being here. This is you overcoming a trial, a major tribulation. August could also be significant. This is Leo energy, okay? This is you. I'm talking to a prayer warrior. You guys get in your hands and knees and you guys pray, okay? It's something about you guys having the faith and having the obedience, you guys having hope, continuing to have hope in your life as well with the strength card being here. This is your prayers going straight up to heaven and being heard, especially with this rebirth. I'm really talking to someone here that definitely is going through a major change in their life and it could be scary. <clears throat> okay, it's something about you guys embracing this singlehood or embracing independence, embracing doing things by yourself or understanding that you can do things by yourself, which is going to bring in major success, karma good karma, positive blessings, opportunities, okay, with the strength card, you guys understanding the willpower, the confidence, the bravery, you guys taking the right steps, doing something that's really going to push you to embrace yourself, to strengthen your self-esteem, you guys are doing something, or praying about it, and you guys are getting the strength from up above, God is pouring his energy into you, so that you can have this rebirth, so that you can feel renewal, so that you could feel this change within your life. The number 13, this is also the ending card, the death card. Something is coming to an end. This is a major transformation that's happening in your life. This could also be on a soul level with rebirth. You guys could also like wearing cool earrings or the turbans. Eyebrows, you guys could have very like profound eyebrows or eyes, your face or, or you know, those um, beautiful lips. I'm seeing here as well. You guys also have like a nice bone structure that people, ooh, people admire. <clears throat> something doesn't want me to say this and i'm gonna say it anyway yeah there could also be energies trying to stop you from like speaking okay or just being in your authentic energy shake that energy off with the justice card being here things are working out for you <clears throat> with the ace of pentacles coming in yeah this is god making sure that you have more than enough so that you're able to provide to those that you love Okay, you could be in a place where, or a place of power, or, you know, you could be someone that has to take care of other people. You may do this willingly, or you may have to do this, like, out of responsibility. But, Father, God is going to make sure that you have the enough money, enough resources, enough. You're going to feel security. You're going to feel stable enough to be able to provide, okay, to be able to take care of people that could be in some type of hardships with the Five of Pentacles. There could be people that, well, I'm also talking to, like, a humanitarian. You guys could give to the homeless. I'm also seeing someone, you guys are getting a major blessing. You guys could be giving to a charity or just giving to giving out to people that you, you see needed, that actually need it. Oh, I'm talking to someone who is very blessed and covered. You do things within your actions, which is keeping you safe. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. 88 is significant as well. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords is here. There's massive changes that are taking place in your life. It can even stress you guys out. Some type of information, downloads, clarity could be coming in, which could bring in some type of stress. There go that nine of pentacles again. Or it could be stressing somebody out. There could be communication that comes in to someone that stresses them out because you guys, it seems like someone here is communicating that they're going to be, you know, they're, they're doing it by themselves. The nine of pentacles that they don't need someone's help anymore or you guys are just choosing to, to focus on your own life at this time, your own energy. Your own security, your own stability. Yeah, the eight of the eight of cups. Eighty-eight is definitely significant. The two of swords. Somebody here did not realize that you were gonna have the strength to walk away from something that you put a lot of time, energy, love into. With the eight of cups, you guys could be walking away from something, and it could have been very difficult. It also could have, you guys could have been at a stalemate. You know, indecisive about whether or not you should do it, and it's like it seems like some someone here is making a decision to do it. 
it was a lot of contemplation with the seven of pentacles you guys could have even been dealing with an earth sign heavy scorpio is here in libra what's the two of swords about it was a stalemate it was confusion energies like you didn't know if you were gonna if you were making the right decision but yeah someone here wanted you to be blindsided about what was going to bring you real happiness with the nine of cups they didn't they didn't want you to see this because right after the eight of cups is the nine of cups the eight of cups is having the faith the eight of cups is a very hard hard card it's very difficult okay and i tell people this because a lot of people get stuck in a situation a family even or a mindset and they feel like that is it they have to stay here there's nothing better they, there's, they can't bring any changes it's like they they feel like that is it that's the end all be all and it's not the eight of cups is about having the strength and confidence to understand that there is better for you okay this is not you abandoning anything this is you still taking care of your responsibilities this is you still being present but this is also you choosing what makes you happy okay it's, it's something about you guys not not giving to people that were using and abusing your energy. You guys putting up boundaries within your within your life and you guys taking the necessary steps to make yourself happy. How can you make other people happy if you are not happy on a soul level? It's like, how can you heal if you are not healed? Okay, it's like heal people, heal people, heal people. Okay, hurt people, hurt people. It's something about you guys realizing that with the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, you guys realizing to become better or to truly have that happiness on an inner level, it, it's maybe time to leave a situation or leave something alone that just does not serve you. And right after that, you get your happiness, you get a prayer answer, you get that blessing, you get that wish fulfillment. It's something about your confidence, you having the self-esteem, the drive, male or female, to believe in yourself to do it. There's a blessing that's coming in with the star. This is This is... Ooh, this is a prayer answer. This is wish fulfillment. This is a yes. This is a yes. Something that you guys have been waiting on, wanting to pursue, wanting to happen within your life. It's coming with the star and it's coming very quickly. And it has to do with your security, your money, your wealth. You guys are getting ready to be promoted. Or this is like a new financial blessing that's going to take you up and up. You're about to see your finances like hit a level that you guys have never thought it was going to hit. And it is. The queen of pentacles is a wife or a husband. Somebody that takes care of themselves. They're very financially blessed. They, they, they bills are taken care of um, all the way, you know, out. They don't have to. Their things are taken care of. The queen of pentacles is someone that doesn't have to want or need for a dollar. She's taken care of it. And it's also about your intuition. You guys literally listen to your intuition about some type of breakup, betrayal, cheating that could have taken place. And you guys made a good decision. With the two of wands, you, you went in a, a new direction. You left something behind. And it could have really hurt you. With the ten of swords, this could have been very, very difficult to do, to, to make this choice. I see this with the nine of pentacles. Just, yeah, but it has to do with your home. You guys are rebuilding. Your home, you guys can even be moving. Mm. Well, this is you having protection, you actually feeling protected. Safeguard energy, protecting your heart and making making right decisions, making making very divine and strategic decisions, which is gonna make sure that you bring in this success. You have this happy home, you have this security, you have mm. This is also you protecting your assets. You guys could also be saving at this time or reflecting over your savings with the nine of pentacles. But I see you growing and I see you making the right decision to make sure that you have this, whether you are by yourself or not. It's like something about you getting it done. You still having that blessing. You still having your home. You still having your wealth. You still having your career. You still having your mind. Your peace of mind. It's something about you creating peace within your life. But there's something definitely hurts you on an emotional level with that three of swords. And this person is watching to see if you're stuck in that same energy. If they can come back to do it again. The three of pentacles. They're reflecting. They're reflecting. Somebody is seeing. Are you still in an energy that is still like open to being hurt again? Or open to being played with? Open to being stagnated? Open to being manipulated? Somebody here. Mm -mm. Is hopeful that you're in that energy, not knowing that you are protected. With, it's with Sagittarius, with Temperance energy, with Archangel Michael. You're protected, you're covered, you're blessed, and you are divinely guided. And that's what's leading you towards this new blessing and love. You believing in yourself, the strength card again. <laughs> it's also keeping you away from people that want to try to sabotage that or just want to use you. You, you believing in yourself or you overcoming temptation. Even holding yourself back from things that you know don't align with you is bringing you that true love, that fulfillment. 
I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Cancer, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.